Khairi Jamaluddin, who last week revealed his ambition to become Prime Minister one day, has outlined what he believes is Malaysia's next big economic leap, re-industrialisation. The health minister said the country had de-industrialised too fast and turned its focus to the service industry. Now you have publicly expressed your aspiration to become the PM. If you become the Prime Minister of Malaysia, what would you do to help the nation get back on track? Uh, and we focused on services. Services are still important. We want to make sure that we're self-sufficient in terms of food production. But I do believe that uh, this is a tremendous opportunity for us to um, reinvest in industry, industrialization. However, Kyrie said it was important to ensure that companies coming here were a value add. And Malaysia was not just a cheap destination for foreign manufacturers to set up their factories. Kyrie, a former AMNO youth chief, added that there is a need to reset the country's economic structure to reduce the over-reliance on certain sectors. He also said the country can benefit from geopolitical tensions, specifically between the United States and China, as companies are looking for alternative places to set up their factories. So we need to pick a neutral venue uh, to relocate our production base, whether it's in uh, aircraft components, whether it's in the semiconductor industry, whether it's in other uh, manufacturing sectors. Kairi also pointed out there is already a factory in Sungai Bulo called SME Aerospace Sundran Berhad that produce components for the wings of Airbus and Boeing aeroplanes. He also said there was a need to extend consumer and business confidence as the world faces serious global economic headwinds next year. Despite the 14% gross domestic product growth recorded in the third quarter, Kairi said he believes the fourth quarter and next year will be challenging. Referring to the budget 2023, Kairi said, We need a strong government. We need a government that already has a plan in place. Uh, and we get down to making sure that Malaysia is resilient um, in facing uh, global economic challenges next year.